Yes, this is better than minecart system. It's one of the best of the minecarts that has ever been. You see, because it was so efficient, but now it is not. Sadly, we have moved past that. But what most people don't know is how we move past that. I'll tell you, the, the one of the most useless blocks in the game helped us. Soul sand makes you slower when you're on it, but great in the water. Most people do know that soul sand provides some sort of bubbling effect that makes you rise, and most people do know that it's used for bubble elevators. But what they don't know is that it's also great for mine carts. For instance, it is a great for- you see, there's no rails in there, it's just, it's just soul sand, which means you don't have to waste as much iron anymore. I believe this has been out for a few years, but I don't think, I, I haven't heard of anybody who knows it. And, you see, you really, it's really two that you need on either side to, um, do it compared to the normal, however many your thing is long. So, if you place it in the spot, and then you go ahead and hop in, you move forward, you can see that it makes you jump too. It looks so much cooler as well which is a great use. And now I'm going to show you how you can incorporate this into your builds. So, first thing and the obvious thing is for transportation. Of course, you have your simple way of, you know, just using minecart rails and sure that works fine up until a point. And this makes that up, this makes the up until a point thing a lot easier. So then you just keep on adding soul sand, and before you know it, you have something like this. Which basically, if we go over here really quickly, we can find that, in fact, if we add a minecart here, we can then roll on. You just keep adding soul sand down here until you get there. But this is your normal minecart right if you're walking, right? It's easy, it's normal, it's simple. But, it doesn't have to be that way. If we destroy these minecarts, right, if we destroy these rails, then we can come to the realization that it's a lot faster if we just destroy the rails. Because if you can see, I am stalling for time while I destroy every single one of these. But not only am I doing that, but I'm also making this so much more efficient, because now, we move forward. And, we fly through the air on these, until we can get into this great loop, which I have made to also make me be able to say anything I want to say. And as you can see, this was definitely worth it, because so much iron is, like, not being used. Really, you only need to know how to find it in the nether, and there's an entire soul sand, um, valley, I believe, for it, for this exact purpose. But, there's also a second thing you can do with these, in minecarts and water. Everyone knows, like, the vanilla Minecraft hot top, right? The one that everyone and their grandparents have played with and done before. But what if I could tell you that it could be improved nowadays? Like many other things, your normal hot tub can, in fact, be a lot better by just adding the rail and the minecart. Because normally, it would just be... Yeah, like, it's cool and everything, you can jump around in it, but that's about it. Now we're gonna make you be able to jump around in it, but that will not be at all a bit. In fact, if you just add a single rail on here, which we can't because it's not the right size, 
But if we have a single rail on here and then push a minecart in, it will fly off. So you see, you can build a hot tub for people, but with the power of the great minecart, it can also be used as um, a way of travel and transportation. And if you want to get even, like if you want to get even lazier with your resources, you don't even have to do it like this. You could really, like, have a little bit less soul sand used in this process for a, still the same amount of transportation. You don't even really need um, this many. You could use a two lap. You could use basically a one by one block, and that way you could do um, something along the lines of this. No, not no, that's not the right way. Um, something along the lines of this. And after you've gotten this done, you can then add your redstone block of choice. And you can make the best race ever. You see, it's not that fast, but then again, you could make it faster by doing the simple trick of deleting that block and then placing a new block so that it doesn't over, uh, overflow, I guess you'd say. And you, you have to make these blocks, um, full blocks, or else it won't work. That's a very important step. And then you can place that and that, and voila! You have, you have officially made a even cheaper minecart thing. But this way, it doesn't really go over, but it does make for a pretty cool hot tub with your friends. You have to remember to keep it in. But, if you don't actually get in it, hold on, there's a thing on my screen now. I'm gonna really quickly exit out of that. You can see that if you don't get in it, you can like shoot some minecarts at your friend's bases if you have those. And this way, you can just start stacking your minecarts there. And the ones that you don't use will just stay over here in this little column area for you to like, pick up later, the ones that can't actually make it. And so you've heard of a TNT cannon, but now we also have a minecart cannon. And it's a lot less deadly to our bases, so you're not considered so you're not considered to be doing any of the briefing for you to start this game today. But yeah, um, that will pretty much wrap up the video. I think. And so if you've liked this video so far, you can subscribe and comment. And also don't forget to actually like the video. Hopefully I'll be able to do more of this stuff in the future. And I will see you all next time. Bye!